This is the fourth episode of Realistic Neon Light Effect, in Adobe Illustrator Tutorial. In the first episode, I talked about how color dodge works, and how to use it to create realistic neon light, like this one. In the second episode, I showed how to apply it to geometric shapes, and because the techniques in this second episode can only work perfectly only on geometric shapes, and cannot work properly on complex shapes, for that I created the third episode, where in the third episode, I show how to create this neon light effect using color dodge, to work well with text, or more complex geometric shapes. And if you pay attention to these three episodes, you will find that the resulting neon color is only based on the background color. So if we make a dark red color background, the neon color will also turn red. Likewise, if the background is orange, then the neon color will also follow the background color. The reason is because that's how blending mode works. We can't separate the background color from the neon color. Because the result color is generated by the base color, which here is the background, plus the blend color which here we make it like a neon. So the resulting neon color will depend on the background color, that has been made. Many questions about this. Can this neon work with other images? Or can it be made into PNG? The answer is no, but it does not mean it is impossible to do. So, in today's video I will show you how we can do that. So watch this video until the end and don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Okay, let's get started. Here, I have prepared neon text as an example that I made in the previous video. And I have also prepared an example image that we will use. Before I continue, I need to remind you once again, that the color dodge works with base color plus blend color, equals result color. If we refer to this formula, we will make this brick image as the base color, and the neon light text as the blend color. So we just need to place this neon text on top of this brick image, and the result looks like this. How come it looks like that? That's because the color base, in this case the brick image, consists of several dots of color, which are called pixels. Even though we use an image that is almost black, the result color still follows the base color. Because basically, color dodge works by producing a bright effect on the result color, by reducing the contrast between the base color and the blend color, resulting in saturated mid-tones and blown highlights. You can watch the realistic neon effects episode 1, if you want to get a brief explanation of how this color dodge works. So at this point, we can't make this neon work with images yet, because here we are still working with color dodge. And if we want to make it work with images, we have to think that this neon light is a finished artwork. And lock it. And one more thing, because this is a finished artwork, the base color and blend color are an inseparable unity. So to make it work with other images, we have to make it as a raster image, not a vector image. And to make it as a raster image in the Adobe Illustrator, we just need to select this base and blend color. Then go to the object menu. And click rasterize. In this way, an object that was originally a vector, can be turned into a raster image. And we can see here in the control panel overview, that this object type is an image, so it's no longer a vector. The next stage is we are going to stitch this neon image into our brick image. At first glance, this method does not work. Because the black color in this neon image covers the brick image behind it. So we have to get rid of the black color in the neon image. And the only way to get rid of the black color, and leave the neon light, we use blending mode, but no longer using color dodge. The drop down menu on the transparency panel consists of many types of blending modes. One of them is the color dodge that we have used. And to get rid of the black color in this neon light image, we will use the light and blending mode. This light and blending mode works by making the black color, in the result color invisible and only colors other than black will be affected by the blend color. So the result will be like this. The black color will be 100% transparent and any color other than black will remain there. In this way, we don't need to make it as PNG, we just have to blend it with lighten to make it transparent. So, for the artwork that you make, you don't have to make it into PNG. From Illustrator you just have to make it as a raster image, or export it into JPG if you want to work in Photoshop, and use light and blending mode. And to make it look a little more realistic, we just have to make this brick image a little darker at the edges, and lighter in the middle. And add more light to each letter. And the end result is like this. So the conclusion is, this neon light effect can still work with other images. 
But first, we have to make it as a raster image and change the blending mode to lighten. And finally, if this video is useful, please subscribe, like, and share. See you in the next video.